Let's meditate on Psalm 110. Psalm 110, the most utilized psalm in the New Testament. Ah, so rich. Let me ask you a question before we begin. Did David consider himself a priest? This is a psalm of David. And I think from here we can kind of deduce whether or not David not only thought of himself as a king, not only did he think of himself as a prophet, he wrote many of the psalms, but he also considered himself a priest. I think you'll see that. Read with me. Psalm 110 verse 1. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty, shepter, your mighty scepter. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power in holy garments from the womb of the morning. The dew of your youth will be yours. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So, did David consider himself a priest? Yes. Theologians I respect do believe that David considered himself a priest of sorts, but not of the priesthood of Levi. And that was already <laughs> taken. And David was not of the priesthood of, of the tribe of Levi. He was of the tribe of Judah. Nonetheless, according to this psalm, the kingly line had also a priestly element in it. And so we find David, as he brings in the ark into Jerusalem, he wears a linen ephod, which is the uniform of a priest. Now, I want to tell you that this priesthood, according to Melchizedek, now Melchizedek is a much higher priesthood than the priesthood of Levi, the Israelite priesthood of Levi. The order of Melchizedek was, is a much higher line, and that's what David is a part of. But much more than this, and much more important than this, this applies, before it applies to David, it applies to his descendant, the Messiah. Where do you see that, Pastor Paul? Look, Verse 1, once again, the Lord says to my Lord, who is speaking here? David. The Lord says to my Lord. Who is saying to who? David is saying, the Lord Jehovah is saying to my Lord. So technically speaking, before the psalm applies to David, it applies to David's Lord, of whom the Lord Jehovah speaks. Okay? All right, let's put it in our terms. God the Father is saying of Jesus, his son, these words, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. That's how the New Testament understands it. And then further, it applies this whole idea that Jesus' line is of priesthood is of the order of Melchizedek. And it's a fascinating, stu fascinating study when you look back in Genesis and see the background of Melchizedek. In any case, he is the one who is from forever and to forever. He is of the higher line of priesthood and he, he, he presides forever. In that priesthood, he doesn't die ever anymore and offer up, offered up the perfect sacrifice to end all blood sacrifices. King Jesus did. He is our great high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Now, having said that, where do we fit in? We line up right behind David, don't we? <laughs> because we too according to the book of Revelation and many other places too, also wear a linen ephod. We wear holy priestly garments. That's why the Apostle Peter also says that we are a peculiar people, a holy nation, a royal priesthood, a royal kingly priesthood.
priesthood. Yes, you, a priest, myself, a priest, in our great high priest, King Jesus. Then offer up the Lord the priestly service that he deserves. The priestly service of the sacrifice of our lips, praise. The priestly service of the sacrifice of our bodies, living sacrifices, which is only reasonable. Romans chapter 12. I encourage you, loved ones, to stand in the gap as priests are called to do. Spend time in prayer for the people that God places on your heart. Spend time in prayer for your pastor and for your pastors who are subject to all kinds of attack from the enemy. Stand in the gap for those that you know are struggling, especially in your church family. You and I are also priests according to the order of Melchizedek because we are of the line of King Jesus himself. What a gift. As I said, Psalm 10 is quoted most often in the New Testament. Rich, rich psalm. I encourage your further meditation in it on your own. If you find some good kernels, bring it. Ah, put some comments on it. If you find references uh, from the New Testament, I said it's quoted a lot. I didn't say any of them, actually. Not really. Put them under there. It kind of helps, I understand, for this video to be shared. (laughs) Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for my brothers and sisters' patience in the shameless plug. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed of the things that I say here because this is your word and you display for us your powerful, powerful, powerful presence in your word. Thank you that King Jesus is our great high priest according to the highest order, the order of Melchizedek, and that we too in him have become priests of the highest order. Equip my brothers and sisters and give them the motivation to live out their calling as priests in Jesus' likeness. In his beautiful name we pray. Amen. Beauty for ashes A garment of praise Oh, my heaviness, beauty for ashes. Take this heart of stone and make it yours. Yours. I delight. In the richest affair, trading all that I've had for all that is better, a garment of praise for my heaviness. You are the greatest taste, you're the richest of fear.